This is the narrative of a dystopian society wherein individuals consume a crimson-hued substance on a daily basis in lieu of water. The consumption of this substance is of utmost significance, and those who decline to partake in it are incarcerated. Every inhabitant of this realm receives this substance without charge, and they imbibe it with immense delight. The advent of this substance has brought about substantial transformations within this society. In this realm, violence, criminal activities, and sorrow have been completely eradicated, and the denizens perpetually revel in a state of unceasing contentment. At the commencement of the narrative, individuals hastily make their way through a tunnel filled with trepidation. Subsequently, they draw near to a table adorned with an abundance of crimson liquid. Imbibing from their cups, a female materializes and directs a piercing scream towards a particular individual, resulting in the shattering of the aforementioned vessel. In the subsequent sequence, Log awakens in a state of fright, comprehending that the preceding occurrences were nothing more than figments of his imagination. He proceeds to the culinary space where he encounters his expectant spouse, Cam. Currently, she pours redly quick into glasses and brings two of them, now full, to a table where a group of people eagerly awaited her. Now both of them drink that liquid safely. After breakfast, people get ready and start going to work. As we descend the stairs, he meets his neighbors and gives love to the girl. After this, he meets his plumber and talks to him happily for some time, and then starts going towards the office. He listens to the weather forecast on his earphones and smiles very energetically. People work in a finance company which is very popular in the city. He is a capable employee in this company, and his boss praises him for his work every day. Now before lunch, all the employees form a line and start drinking red liquid with discipline and respect. After this, in the evening, he was working with all the employees when the same woman appeared on his computer screen, and she was stopping him from drinking the red liquid. He claims that the liquid is a pharmaceutical compound that alters how people's nervous system works. The government is controlling everyone by making them drink this liquid, and is making the ice part their slaves. Now she gives her coordinates and says that if anyone wants to come out of this situation, then they should meet her as soon as possible. We ask our colleague whether he has also received the same message, but his colleague does not respond. Now office hours end, and everyone starts going home. People were quite confused and watched the same video again, but this time the situation was completely changed, and the same woman was in that red liquid. She was promoting it and telling about its benefits. People were looking at the screen with great interest, and then a warning sign is shown on the screen. Now his boss comes there, and we learn that working overtime is illegal in this world. And then he asks people to go home. On the way home, people were continuously thinking about the same woman, and then they followed the coordinates given by her. Now when he reaches halfway, the coordinates disappear from his phone. A group enters a nearby tunnel and notices law enforcement officers with a couple. One of them tells Locke that the tunnel ahead has collapsed and he should go home. After this, the policemen start making the couple drink red water, and then they leave from there. Now, she gives red water to some people in the house like every day. But this time, she does not drink it, but secretly spills it. Now at night, people again have a dream, and they were in a dense forest, and a woman was calling them from the sky again and again. People again opened their eyes in fear, and this time there were traces of blood on the bed and the wall. But the pick also got twisted had happened. The condition of his house had also become very bad. Currently, individuals seek solace in their spouses during times of hardship. However, his delightful spouse, who previously brought us joy, has now begun to express her anger towards him. She reprimands him extensively for his tardiness and subjects him to unappetizing meals. As he descends the stairs, he encounters the familiar faces of his neighbors. Yet this time, they too are filled with anger. And even Palmer joins in speaking in a rather impolite manner. Witnessing this, onlookers become greatly distressed and ponder over what transgression he may have committed. Everyone is behaving like this. Lest everyone starts behaving like this with you, please kindly like and subscribe. Now when he reaches office, he sees that his colleagues are also very angry and are dropping big things there, and his boss who always praises him also scolds him for coming late to office. His boss comes to know that he did not drink red water. His boss does not care about the loss and profit of the company, 
He only cares about the fact that his company's employees are also red water. Now there is a lot of debate about their car, and people do not drink red water again. His boss was asking him to drink, and then people leave from there. Now he was going towards home when two policemen started running after him, who were sent by his Buddhist. Now fearing of getting caught, he left from there. Runs away and hides in a group of people who were drinking red water. People were also pretending as if they were drinking red water and not noticing the crops there. Now after this, people call their wives, but she does not pick up their calls. A man comes home and tries to get in by knocking, but his spouse doesn't answer. So he uses the emergency entrance code to get inside. However, what he sees is shocking. The mess and dirt in his home are much worse than he expected, with garbage scattered everywhere. Then he becomes aware of some noises emanating from the washroom, and upon investigating, he discovers his spouse engaging in an intimate encounter with the plumber in the washroom. Consequently, consumed by anger, the individual seizes a knife and fatally attacks the plumber. As a result, a murder has been committed, causing the individual to break down in tears. Feeling cornered, he resorts to consuming a copious amount of crimson liquid, which miraculously transforms his existence, resolving all of his predicaments and restoring his mental state to complete normalcy. Subsequently, the entrance to the washroom swings open, and his wife emerges, now attired in garments. She was there, and there was a plumber with her who was just fixing the toilet there and nothing else. She was happy like before, and as soon as the plumber leaves her house, she hugs people. People were very happy because her life is now. It had become normal. Now whenever he sees an advertisement on TV, he starts having severe headache and starts having flashbacks of the present day. When he regains consciousness from these recurring memories, he finds his wife standing before him, offering him the familiar red liquid. At this moment, individuals around him swiftly remove the glass from his grasp and vehemently urge him to cease consuming this extravagant water. However, it appears that his wife remains unaffected by their pleas. Who was the individual who previously refused to drink water? only for it to suddenly resurface in his mind. The pain resurfaces, causing him to collapse onto the floor, and once again, his house is in disarray. People forcefully prevent his wife from drinking water, leading to a heated confrontation between Kim and him, ultimately resulting in the involvement of law enforcement. The team makes an attempt to assault him with a knife, but fortunately he manages to escape from the house and secure the door as a result of the rain. At present, he contemplates the idea of entering the tunnel and rendezvousing with that lady, he crashes into individuals and proceeds towards the tunnel, while the officers resume their pursuit. However, the crowd scatters and seeks refuge in a secluded spot. From that vantage point, onlookers witness the police coercing a man to consume a peculiar red liquid. It appears that he had been in pursuit of the elderly woman, yet he vehemently refuses to partake in the crimson beverage. Log flees the scene and receives a phone call from his spouse, who deceitfully implores him to return home in a sugary sweet manner. Yet Log discerns the falsehood and instructs them to go home instead. When he won't come back, then the police come there, and people throw their phones there and run away. After some time, he comes out of the tunnel, and now he has reached the same forest which he had seen in his dream. He keeps walking for some time, and then he gets tired and falls unconscious. When he regains consciousness, he is feeling strange. Then she comes to him and appreciates him and says that you have come out of that false world. Now she presents him with regular water and requests him to consume it. However, Locke, who is encountering normal water for the first time, begins contemplating whether he should partake in its consumption or refrain from doing so. You all enjoyed the narrative. Remember to show your support by liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Take care during dinner and farewell.